An important part of the sound breeding equation is bull selection. At the last Beef Improvement Federation meeting, we had a chance to learn more from expert Dare Bullock from the University of Kentucky. I think before we ever get into beef sire selection, we need to first think about what it is we're trying to produce. In other words, what our goals are, what our market is. When we look at the market, we have to think about things such as, are we going to precondition the calves? Or even, are we even going to retain ownership all the way through uh, the feed yard and sell them either, li either live or on the rail? Because it is important uh, that we target uh, the bull towards what is going to put, put money back into our pockets is that we need to also uh, be breeding our cattle to fit our environment. Where this may impact us is when we, when we look at a trait such as, as calving ease, that's going to greatly impact uh, based on our labor resource that we have available. If we have a part-time beef producer, then he probably has to put more emphasis on calving ease because he's not around the cattle as much to be able to assist when we look at the uh, environment part of it or the nutritional part of it, we really get the really important aspects of evaluating our resources. Uh, I think we probably have more problems with producers buying genetics that are really too powerful for the environment they put in a lot of times. What that ends up with is we have cattle that really do produce a lot of, of weaning weight of the calves, but it gets us into some, into some reproductive problems. Uh, if we have extremely good genetics for both growth and milking ability, but we don't have good nutrition to support that, uh, then we often end up with some reproductive problems. So I would encourage each of you to evaluate what kind of nutrition it is that you have on your farm and, and to buy a bull that really fits that good. Another aspect is structural soundness. This becomes critical both for feedlot steers and, and heifers that we're sending out so that they're structurally correct, but it's critically important to replacement heifers. So if the bull that you're purchasing uh, is not sound, then he's gonna pass that on unsoundness on to his daughters uh, it really doesn't matter if a bull is the best bull in the world genetically if he doesn't get the cows bred. Uh, so we need to, to make sure that he's sound. There are several pieces of information that we can get on a bull to help us evaluate performance, including things like actual measurements, contemporary group ratios, but really the, the piece of information that is the most critical and the one that is the most useful is to look at the bull's expected progeny differences, or EPDs. With EPDs, we can select a bull that has the proper level of production for our particular environment. Uh, we can select for traits such as calving ease. We can also select for the growth traits at several different points, uh, such as weaning or yearling time. We can influence the milking ability of our herd. And we can also look at the carcass characteristics uh, in buy a bull that's really gonna give us uh, good carcasses on the calves that he produces. There are traits that are very important to the economics of the cow herd uh, that aren't measured in EPDs. Some of those traits might be like body capacity, uh, just the length and depth of body and the spring of rib that we have on the bulls. Uh, it's another trait that's highly heritable that he's going to pass those characteristics on to his calf crop as well. Uh, things like muscling, although we do have EPDs like for the ribeye area, uh, the overall muscling of the bull it, it is also important to us. So looking at overall thickness in the bull is, is important. Another trait that's of importance to us and, and really is, has shown increasing importance in recent years has been disposition. Although some breeds do offer an EPD for this trait, uh, most of the breeds do not and it is something that we need to evaluate from a visual standpoint. There are other traits that, that are of economic importance or either convenience importance that producers may want to look at as well. Uh, those are traits such as uh, color pattern in, in breeds that have multiple color patterns, uh, which basically it, it doesn't really influence the performance of the cattle, but it certainly can have an impact on the marketability of the cattle. Ultimately, when you go to buy a bull, we just want you to think about the economic impact that it's going to have on your operation and the long-term impact that it will have. Because as you keep back replacement heifers uh, over time, this bull that you buy is going to really influence your herd for many years to come. So think of the traits that are going to put dollars in your pocket. Focus on those and make a sound selection decision when you go to buy your bull. There's a great resource available. It's called the Beef Sire Selection Manual. It's published by the National Beef Cattle Evaluation Consortium. 